this is a follow-up video to what I did before to explain how I have my bracket and uh, I was going to disassemble it and show people how you could take apart the plastic bracket and even get to this. I have four millimeter Allen, takes out these two screws. These are the foot plates. That's one. There's a nut on the bottom. I dropped one. I'll get it in a minute. Two pieces. They come out. That takes this off. Slides out. That's how you get rid of the foot plate. Now, I made a little tool because I was taking this thing apart so much. It's like a little socket with a Torx jammed in it just because I was assembled, disassembling this thing a hundred times. These take out the screws. I believe there's six of them. There's one here, one here, one here. There's a little one up here and then two down here that hold the plastic on. And that's it. Then that separates. Now I can't take it apart yet because of the way I installed my, my battery adapter. My battery adapter, I put four screws, but I screwed it into the frame with nut certs. I'll show you that when I get this out. So these are pretty long screws because I have to go down into the tube. The six amp hour, six amp hour DeWalt batteries, the big 60 volt batteries I used are very heavy. So they needed these extra screws to hold the weight. There's four of those. Now that I've loosened those, these plastic covers, they come off on both sides. Um, I drilled holes in it to vent the motor heat because uh, it's very hot in here with the controller. Now here's the my adapter. Very simple. Okay, I'm going to go over each one, but just to start with, the battery slides in here, and many people ask me what I used. These are the shipping caps that come. This, this battery is shipped with this cap, so I cut it up, and you can see that's where it's from. Now, this doesn't come with the electrodes in it, so I took this piece out of a battery adapter, and molded them together to make take this out put this in here this has leads on it but I had to desolder them from the board now the questions that I'm getting are which one of these did I use for the wiring so here's how I did that okay it's kind of hard to see now you can see this is the negative side so if you're going to use mine as a reference the left side is the negative, the right side is the positive, and then there's two terminals in the middle. It looks like I put the green wire to the terminal next to the positive, right here. So the green wire in the harness got put next to there, next to this one on the positive side. The blue wire I have capped, I did not use. It is just shrink wrapped and crushed over. And then the, the, the wire on the negative side in the middle was not used. I did not retain it. And that's how I did that. Now, on the frame, I was having the, the battery was falling out on my original design. I did not have the extra holes in there. So I put nut certs, I drilled and put nut certs so that when I screw this down, the battery can't rip out. Um, that's the only design change I made to the original design was adding these four screws to hold the weight of the extra battery. Um, I did have to replace the uh, motor on this bike. I ordered a factory replacement. Um, that had burned out here, down here in the bottom. Uh, so this is replaceable. I didn't have to make any modifications. It was a little tricky to get out, but I did. Uh, I did have to solder the wires uh, onto here a little bit different than they had had them because they have leads on theirs and this one doesn't come with leads. So other than that, the bike's been great. Uh, great runtime. And uh, hopefully this video helps other people because this uh, green wire 
uh, does need to be connected um, to this terminal. So I'm going to just leave that up there. Maybe people can see, um, you know, it's that prong right there that gets the green wire out of the harness. Um, sorry about the tape on there. Um, maybe I can pull some of this electrical tape back and uh, make it easy for people to see. I solder all my connections so there it's much easier to see. And maybe I can use those contrast. So the red wire goes here. Green wire from the from the uh, stasis goes here. Nothing goes to this one. And then the negative one goes to this side. And that's how I have it wired. 